on the island nation of Bahari Terra in the Atlantic Ocean. There are only 63,000 people, but over 11,000 Bahari Terrans protested on the lawn of Bahari Terra's presidential palace on Friday morning, April 15, 2022. They demanded that President John Aksori put pressure on China to free the Uyghurs, a Muslim-majority ethnic minority being suppressed and put into concentration camps in western China. Many Bahari Terran citizens protested how members of the Chinese Communist Party committed rape, torture, murder, brainwashing, abductions, and racial profiling, as well as genocide against people. Just because they are Muslim, China targets them, says Abdullah bin Ka, who is running for Bahari Terra's 2023 presidential election. Bahari Terra may be the first country in North America to fight back against the crimes committed if Abdella gets elected. Bahari Terra is 51% Muslim, but another 24% of Bahari Terra practice Sikhism and are mostly sympathetic to the Uyghurs. This means that at least 70% of Bahari Terrans want to free East Turkestan. At 4.52 Bahari Terra times early in the morning on April 15, 2022, riots broke out on the streets in the capital city, Banda Bahari Terra. Cars belonging to CCP supporters were torched and fights broke out killing nine and injuring eleven. Bahari Terra, while usually a peaceful little island nation, is awakening to the cries of other Muslim nations around the world and fighting back for justice. The relationship between Bahari Terra and the United States may grow weaker as the U.S. government continues to kill innocent people in drone strikes in Yemen, Iraq, and Syria. Hamza Ibn Talib, an 11-year-old Bahari Terran boy, says he hopes Bahari Terra goes to war against the CCP to save the Uyghurs in time before it is too late. Candlelight vigils and mournful cry rose up around sunrise as members of Bahari Terra's Uyghur community are targeted and jumped by mad American tourists. Many tourists from the USA say that the protests are ridiculous and that nobody should care about Muslims, which is a very racist and biased statement indeed.